Okay, Maddie, I got a few people asking me a question. Nobody's here. They, they asking wanna, they you wanna this. They want to know the coffee story. There's nobody that so wants go, to I know want. I want. Story. I want to get a consensus out there how <laughs> it's people not feel. Work about this. out for you. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Go well, ahead. Hold on. First, let's see if Chris Boucher is okay because he's all right. He's just Con- contrary to what you might think. No, that, I think some folks are going to they're going to agree with me. I, <laughs> I'm confident. Okay. There is a technical foul called here, Leo. Not on you and the coffee story, but on oh, Boucher, Boucher wanted. Uh, you know. There's not one person out there that is interested in this story. No, I, I, I got a few people asking. They, they said, did we tell the coffee story yet? And I just, you know, I said I was hurt. I got to find a moment where it's <laughs> how to weave this coffee story in. Well, I think you can do it. Ellenson nice with pass. a Again, two-handed memory. slam. 106-82. You look at Bembry defensively. He's talking. He's trying to help guys out there. Again, he's one of the veterans, right? So we have a coffee machine here. <laughs> Monk dribbles it off of his left foot. Which I brought in, by the way. Yeah, you did. You're very nice of you. For you. And thank you. 6.53 to go. And so there's a coffee machine here. And, <laughs> and we'll... Uh, We'll, we'll tell this story at some point. So, so there's a there's a coffee machine here. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the coffee story. <laughs> so there's, there's a coffee maker. There's a coffee, and it, this is a really easy, short story. Leo turns to me and says, "There's an issue with the coffee machine. Here's ball with a three, and it's good. It's 109.82. So I go over. I said, "Well, what's the problem?" He said, "Well, everything's really watery, and it just..." And so I go over to take a look at the coffee machine uh, to see if I could fix it. And, of course, I did. And <laughs> and so the coffee after that, as Watson lays it up and in, is good. But here's how I fix it. Leo was using used pods. And this is where you were I using this used is, no, pods. No, no, this is where I said, I Leo, everybody maybe, at home to wait, answer wait, this question. Wait a minute. Ball for three. Okay, so. Leo, I said, Leo, have you been using these pods? He, I said, he goes, yes. I said, Leo, they're used. Okay, they and this is what their, I want to ask you at home. What do you do with your used pods? Do you sit them in a cup right next to the coffee maker? Or do you throw them in the garbage? The only pods I well, have next to my coffee maker is what you in do. the recycled garbage. You don't put Lots pods ne- in a cup next to the coffee maker okay. if they're used. So the coffee machine was not broken, folks. No, it wasn't broken. But Leo gonna, was using used pods. The people pods that put it there are broken. New pods. <laughs> and that's a coffee Go store. Go ahead, folks. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm Bembry. wrong. Tell me that... I should not have expected used pods to be set right next to the coffee maker in a cup like the good ones are. Come on. It who has, does that? It has nothing to do with the fact. I'm taking the coffee maker home <laughs> and it, my pods. <laughs> that you couldn't tell the difference with all the holes in the top of the pods. I don't look. You're you going to look for a hole in the pod when it's sitting no, there next to the coffee? You don't. Okay. You, you put it in the machine. And it wasn't a great story. Hey, I'd look in the garbage for holes in a pod. In the, in the pod. Not in a coffee machine. 